The engines were finding life difficult. Workmen were mending the viaduct on the main line. The engines had to take great care of themselves. The factory father did not want to close the railway, and the delay often made them late on the way to the junction. The engines had to go carefully over the viaduct to wash the station, where they knew Thomas would be waiting to collect his passengers. <laughs> This made Thomas cross. Time's time, he said. I can't wait while James and Edward dawdle about on the viaduct. Rubbish, said Henry. If we went over the viaduct, it might collapse. And then you'd have no passengers. What would you do then? Run my train on time, retorted Thomas. Before Henry could answer, Thomas passed away. At the next station, Bertie arrived. He had bought Thomas's passengers. The passengers were grumbling because they had to wait for Thomas. This made Bertie cross. Late again, he said, as Thomas panted wearily into the station. We may be friends, said Bertie, but I thought you could go faster than that, Thomas. It's about time we had another race. I bet I could beat you then. Thomas let off steam loudly. Rubbish, he said fiercely. It's those main line engines. They did their door door back on viaduct and then blamed the fact controller's workmen. It's just an excuse for laziness, if you ask me. The next morning, James puffed into the station. I'm sorry, Thomas, panted James. I was delayed at the station, and the viaduct made it worse. It's lucky for you I'm a guaranteed connection, retorted Thomas. Before James could reply, Thomas passed away in a half. Come along, come along, passed Thomas. Annie and Clarabelle tried hard, but it was hard for them to keep up with Thomas. Then Thomas saw Bertie. His radiator was steaming. What's the matter, asked Thomas. You should be at the next station by now. You're late. I feel dreadful, moaned Bertie. And driver says he can't make me better. I can't move either. Can you take my passengers, please? Of course, replied Thomas. He now felt sorry for Bertie and promised to get his passengers to the station as fast as possible. And good thing the passengers arrived home safely. <laughs> Later, when Bertie felt better, he came to see Thomas. I'm sorry I teased you about being late, said Bertie. That's all right, said Thomas, as I'm sorry I was in a bad mood. From now on, we'll always help each other. And laughing agreeably, the two friends popped back to work. Bum bum. Woo woo woo. Dun 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 d